What is up you guys? You're watching Serious Your Secret. Before I get started with today's little gay video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up. I post a video Monday through Friday on contemporary and designer fashion, and then sometimes I sprinkle in a little video on Saturday and Sunday. And I also do a live stream on Friday at 7, so if you ever want to do a live Q&A, you want to kick it with the girls, you can kick it with me at 7 on Friday. So I did want to make that clear. All the links for everything will be linked down below. Other than that, let's get started with today's video. So today's video, we'll be discussing about the Coach Beat Bag. I'm giving you an update on my little pillow bag now that I've had it for a couple of weeks. We're gonna be talking about the Coach Mini Pillow Bag. And then we're gonna be talking about um, the variations and if this is uh, the Cassie 2.0 in 2021. So today we're just gonna be talking about whole coach. We're gonna hit the vibe, heat up with the girls. So strap down, cause we're gonna be talking about one of my absolutely favorite brands, Coach. So many questions guys on the Coach Mini Pillow Bag. So many questions about it. Is it real? Is it not coming out? Is it, it is coming out? Sergio, I wanna know everything about the Coach Mini Pillow Bag. So we have the regular pillow bag. We love her, we adore her. I am boxed on my channel. Um, I had to pick two. Do I want the gray? Do I want the cream? One. I ended up getting the cream one and I am living the coach pillow fantasy. I am loving every moment with her. I have been using her a little bit more non-stop. She has been more of my rotation handbags and um, I have nothing but great things to say about it. I will say that the coach mini pillow, it is a legit thing. It will come out. I have confirmed with a couple of coach sales associates, uh, people that work for coach. They told me that a lot of the stores already have the coach mini pillow bags, so like on Macy's, Nordstrom, Dillard's, um, Belk, on those retailers where they do carry coach. It's not on their website sometimes depending on certain websites they may put like a day or two early than the than the actual coach website so for example like anina being closed drops every tuesday they have new items but sometimes on the Nordstrom website or sometimes on Revolve, you'll see those see those items maybe a week or two in advance on those websites before the Anina Bean website. So um, I, it could pop out any day. I have a feeling it's gonna be either like Thursday or Friday. I could be totally wrong. I will be, once this handbag is officially released in store. So I'm gonna be entering pictures of here. One of my lovely subscribers uh, went into the store. She kicked it up. She got a Coach pillow bag in the mini size. I'll leave her Instagram down below if you wanna check her out. Me and her have been, both have been Coach obsessed. She has a tabby pillow and she has a beat bag so we're twins we have similar taste in handbags so um, I'll make sure to leave her down below and so my understanding the handbag is gonna retail for $395 it has a top handle it has a longer strap but it is going to be significantly smaller than this one right here I believe it's kind of gonna stop from right here and it is just gonna be a, a really mini bag I when I think about the mini bag I'm really gonna think about my Bottega Veneta red pouch bag that's what I really think about the size. It's gonna be something like this. I said, I've already reached out and it's already in the store so I wanna take a look at it. I have time to go into the store just yet, but I think I'm gonna wait until the actual release date because I wanna make sure you guys can shop it if you guys are interested. I don't wanna show something that you can't, you can't get your hands on just yet. So I will be waiting until it officially releases and I may do a little coach to come shop with me. Do you guys wanna see that? I know normally I don't really do a lot of full price shopping or like a lot of shopping at full price stores, um, vlogging, just it's kind of weird it's so awkward for me but i only really like to vlog in full price shopping stores if i'm going to be purchasing something that day which in that day i will be going into the coach store and be buying the coach mini pillow bag. So definitely let me know down below i'm still undecided on the colors i definitely want to look at it in person i know there's the lime green one like a pink fuchsia one um in this cream color so it does come in a bunch of colors but i definitely want to look at them in person and i want to play with them but as far as the coach mini pillow bag i will be purchasing it i'm gonna wait for it to come out officially and i'll go into the coach boutique and i'll make my purchase and after that guys after that me and coach are, are a little separated like i said we're not in an open relationship we're not uh you know there won't be cheating involved but you know i'm gonna take a break with coach a little bit i'm gonna enjoy basically the three new bags that i have uh you know we have the little gay beat bag you know the beat of my heart we got the little pillow bag we got the big mama right here little thickums and then we're gonna get a mini thickums too so i have three brand new coach handbags and then i also love to enjoy my classic tabby my classic cassie my cassie 19 so i have a lot of coach handbags after the mini tabby to really enjoy i would love to get a fuel to it i would love to get more into coach i don't know what it is i, I right now coach is really doing it for me than even a lot of the designer brands like for me like i i went into chanel the other day i go into the boutiques and nothing really speaks with me right now i'm just very much into contemporary handbags which is really weird because a couple years back i would only really wear it after i got kind of done with my kind of contemporary space 
I really stopped really I really wore designer for like basically for I want to say for a good like two years a year and a half and now kind of I love my little bit of contemporary and designer I love a little bit of everything but I will say even like in clothing like I look forward and I get so happy to wear my contemporary brand clothing like Veronica Beard, Vince, Theory, Gani, Aritzia, Mother Denim like those are brands that I'm more looking forward to purchase and to enjoy than even some of the designer ready to wear that I already own or that I want on my wish list do not get me wrong I will always be a designer girl but I will say right now the vibe is definitely the contemporary vibes I'm not sure if it's because I spending over 2k on a handbag that could is considered trendy Maybe that's not something I want to do versus something that's $500. You know, this is still a lot of money. Do not absolutely get me wrong. But I'm more comfortable to purchase this and have a very nice uh, moment with it versus buying a handbag over two or $3,000. I definitely prefer this. And so for me, I've just been into the contemporary handbags. I Like I said, I don't know what it is. I've just been feeling the contemporary handbag fantasy. Tori Birch and Coach have been really doing it for me recently. I would love to add um, Kate Spade handbag into my collection very soon again. And I would love to add uh, Marc Jacobs bagger too. I want to add a Brendan Blackwood handbag, another Tilfar handbag. So I'm really looking forward into more of my contemporary handbag purchases than even my designer. I know that I'll be purchasing a Chanel handbag for my birthday. I already talked about that. Um, but um, I'm not sure. I may walk in one day and go to St. Laurent see a bag I like and purchase it. But um, right now, I will say contemporary has been doing it for me. The girls have been here for coach girl i told you since last year or even like a year and a half ago i posted a video coach's huge comeback and people were telling me it's not coming back like this is no girl this bag had been taking social media by storm like they've been making hits and hits and hits they're Nicki minaj literally coming out every song they come out for the most part is a banger a banger a banger they're like that hot a girl right now i mean they're always that girl they're always been in style coach has been established since 1941 so they're they're that girly but um they're definitely having a scene in the moment and i I'm living for it and I'm here for every minute, every second, every hour, every day, every month, every year that coaches that girly. So I'm here for it. So that's kind of the information. I would suggest you guys to follow me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures uh, once it's available and I'll be going into the store and purchasing which one. And I probably will ask you for your opinion on which one should I purchase because sometimes, that, you know me, I can get a little indecisive. I, I may want color, but then I may also go for a black bag. You know, with me, it's a very kind of wishy-washy when it comes to the color that I choose for a handbag. But other than that, let's go ahead and talk about my new handbag. So if you didn't watch my last vlog, which I highly suggest you did, I was also in a very, very chatty mood. And I got, I went to Last Call by Neiman Marcus, and I bought the Coach Beat bag, guys. This has been Ishley's handbag that I've had for a little bit. I put it in the best contemporary and designer handbags under $500. I talked about it in my Coach video. And I mentioned it probably like seven times on my channel if I'm being completely honest. And so I went there and I saw it for 50% off by 50. It was 275 and I said, girly, girly, girly. I did not drive for four hours to not buy anything and i drove four hours to get something that was genuinely on my wish list like i said i would prefer the white one but girly jesus said girl you're gonna get the black one you know you'll, you'll have fun on your pillow bag so i ended up getting this one right here and i was so shocked too because normally i thought oh it's probably missing a strap like i want to make sure it has everything if it is 50 if it's a little bit more i can compromise if it's missing one item but it was like this it had the chain so i was already excited i said oh girl the beat bag with the chain fire i cannot wait to use it on my coach pillow handbag it has a top handle and then i was like please make sure the straps on the inside like that one tiktok video that one tiktok i think it's like please don't be ugly please don't be ugly please do not be ugly and then so i opened the bag and what do i see the strap was in there so um it was a complete set it was 50 percent off it was waiting right there pretty for me and i told jesus christ i said girl you bless me this bag was meant for me to have it and now i have it here and i am loving it so i'll be um i'm gonna take off the chain just so it's kind of like not all over the place for just right now so this is the beat bag what i love about it is that it has this kind of classic c on it i'm gonna turn it this way I just love how this bag incorporates a lot of coaches' heritage, and it's like the glove tan leather, you have the iconic dog tag, it's like look of the hardware. Like, I love the incorporations of a coach handbag. It's like, tell me you're a coach handbag without telling me you're a coach handbag. This is what it reminds me of. This one, you can tell it's more coach because it has this C on it, but this one, it, it has it more kind of like on the side. It like incorporates the C in a very nice and fun and interesting way. So that's what I kind of gravitated towards and I also like the size of this at the end of the day and I like that I had a back pocket. So right here you have a little gay back pocket, you know, take it from the back, you know, it's pretty deep. It is lined with maroon in the inside and I can put my little gay cell phone in here. 
fits perfectly. I like it even when I have items on the inside. It is very comfortable to get it in and out. Um, your sofa fits in the back. And like I said, what I love about it is just it, it had so much for me. I just find that this gives me so much coach heritage. Um, this is a classy handbag that I can see 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 50 years from now, and you can pull out and I feel like you could have it. And I also like the direction of coach, how it's been more like, um, like a lot, it's been more core. Yes, you have your fun items, but it's also been a lot more core items that isn't too core, that isn't too simple. And so for me, I love the three straps on it. And for me, I think that this is going to be my Cassie 2.0. Last year, you saw me rock this one, talk about this one, rant and rave about this one so freaking much and do not get me wrong i will still use it i still love my coach cassie 19 but i just find that i tend to carry a little bit more nowadays i either want a super super small bag or kind of like a medium sized bag or like a large bag like i go through the vibes so i will still reach for it i will still wear it i will probably wear it to dinner or a cute brunch in the morning but i will say the beat bag um, is like an elevation of the Coach Cassie because I love the options of the straps. I love that you have the beautiful chain, which I've talked about many times. I love the little top handle moment. I love that it has a strap. I like that it's a little bit more bigger. I like that it has to incorporate the seam. I like the back pocket. I also love the gloved hand leather. And I just like the little details. Like, look at the details on the side. So, um, if you do like the Coach Cassie 19, you like it, maybe you want something bigger or you want kind of like a 2.0 version of it. I definitely do think that the beat bag for me, I think maybe that's why I fell in love with it because I love my coach Cassie 19 so freaking much and it reminded me of it It kind of gave me like m like mommy and, and daughter vibes or daddy and son vibes Like it's like very much like, you know, even though they're not the same collection It kind of gives me like uh, family member vibes with it and so, I mean, I love it. This is like the big mama bag. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So what I like is that you can actually take all the straps off like the Coach Cassie 19. You can take off this one, you can take off the chain, you can take off the long strap. You can have all of them, you can have none of them. You can do really what you want to do with the handbag. And I just love that variation. Like I said, a girly loves options. I just like to change my mind. I like to change my mood. I like to change the vibe. So I definitely appreciate that. There's so much variety in this handbag. And so I'm gonna open it up. So you have a clasp right here and the snap it in and you can just open it right back up. It has this beautiful maroon interior and this is a little gold hardware. Girls, I have a little bit of receipts. I've been going out. Mama's been doing her thing. First pocket, it is very, very good space. You can fit quite a lot. It is lined in this suede material through the inside of the handbag. And then right here in the back pocket, um, it has the classic coach patch and it has more of a uh, brown leather trimming throughout it. And then on the inside, it is lined with the fabric. So the only very only variation of the coach kind of fabric is going to be on the inside zipper. And other than that, it is lined in this kind of suede material, which I actually really like, or microfiber material. I like it because I feel like it adds a kind of like an elevation to it versus it probably being fabric. I know probably uh, microfiber or like a suede material is a little bit more harder to clean, a little bit more harder to maintain. But um, if you take care of yourself, it shouldn't be an issue. But I can appreciate both sides. But I definitely do like the luxe feeling of this bag all over around i told you guys when i saw this bag it literally looks like a bag if this would have been from a designer brand and like i said i'm not putting coach down in any way i love coach so freaking much and for me i never look at, at contemporary brands in general like less than i always consider they're all equal i always consider uh even contemporary handbags a luxury because not everybody can go out and buy a 500 dollars handbag not everybody can go out and buy a hundred dollar wallet like they're these are luxury items in my opinion may they may not be as like a chanel handbag that's eight thousand dollars or six thousand dollars but i still think contemporary handbags are a luxury because not everybody can go out and spend $500 on a handbag, $600 on a handbag, or $200 on a handbag. So that's just the way I see it, but I've been $2,500. Like I'm not even being funny. And so I, for $550, I just love that you get the coach heritage and you just get so much versatility out of it. And I really, really love the glove hand leather. I, I, I love when you feel it. It's very nice. It's very malleable to the touch. And I cannot wait to get more wear on the handbag. So I'm going to start putting my stuff in here so you guys can have an idea of what I kind of put in my handbag because I know you guys are very interested to see what I put. So I have a pair of Oliver People sunglasses. You guys know how much I love Oliver People. I'm going to stick those babies in there and I've actually been enjoying this case. It's really been portable with a lot of my ex. I have three face masks. I have two Tory Burch ones, a Lily Zadoli one. Uh, girl, face mask drops on the floor or it gets dirty or whatever. I like to have more than one and I leave them here and then sometimes in whatever handbag I use, I may put a, the dirty I may put the dirty one in the back pocket or in the zipper so I know that not to use that one. A little gay cell phone right here in the back. So it's right there chilling, it's straight chilling. And then on the inside, we're gonna be putting my wallet. I have this little cute Gucci wallet. I'm gonna still put it right here where the sunglasses are. 
And then on the back section, I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of beauty favorites. So I have a Chanel hand cream. I have a Byredo uh, Beeple Tech hand cream, which I've also been really liking. Byredo Rose Wash that you can just, you don't have to wash your hands, you can use that instead. Um, you have a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Girl, this gives you um, all the lip fantasy. Get into this mug, really get into this. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, you want that big lip experience? Baby, baby, this is it. So we're gonna put it here, that's definitely an essential. I have a Tom Ford lip pencil, and this one is in the color 2, and it's called Invite. I have my little gay AirPods in here, and that's what I bought. I fit it right here. Um, you can fit a little bit more if I, you know, for me, I'm going to be honest. Everything that I have in my handbag isn't very clean cut cookie cutter. Like, I don't put everything super compartmenting. I just like to throw my things, and I like to keep it moving. As long as my wallet is, and all my cards are there and everything else, it, it can float around. You know, I appreciate the comments, I love it, but I'm not the type of person to be like, this is where this always goes. This I just kind of put everything where it needs to go and I keep it moving. So for me, I don't have anything in the main zipper, but like I said, that's where I'm gonna put my face masks uh, that are gonna be used. But I mean, everything fits in there, it's pretty good. I mean, I could fold the wallet, I can adjust the sunglasses, and obviously I can have more space to put stuff, but I just kind of threw everything in there, it's perfectly, and it, it snaps perfectly. Everything is in there. It does not look bulky at all. It looks very clean, sleek. This is just a cell phone, but everything else looks very sleek. And I mean, see girl, this little beat bag, I love it. But as much as I love this bag, guys, as much as I love it, you guys already know how much I love the beat bag, but this is what put the cherry on top on the beat bag. This chain, do not get me wrong. I love, guys, I love the chain on the beat bag. Ooh, girls, get into this mug. I think when I buy the pillow bag, I think I'm gonna get these hot stamps. I don't know, should I put my actual initials or should I put SS? I feel like I'm gonna put SS. But girl, this, okay, we're gonna act like it's not there. Very clean, classic, core, can never go wrong with, but, ooh, yes, get into this. Get into this little chain, guys. Like, like this chain makes this bag. But wait a minute, as much as I love this chain on the beat bag, you guys already know where I'm going with. You guys already know what I'm about to do. You already know, guys. Ugh. Oh my god, guys. You already know this. Oh my god. The Coach Pillow Tabby with the beat chain on it. You cannot tell me, guys. I, oh my god, <laughs> look how cute this is. So I love that you can have paint on here, but I also love the dog tag. So I'm gonna start using this as a clutch. I didn't really think about using it as a clutch. Hi, how are you? Uh, tall skinny legend in the house. And I didn't really think about that I was gonna use it as a clutch. I really thought when I first bought it, I was really gonna use it as a top handle. But no, I mean, I really haven't been using the top handle as much. I've been really honestly been using it as a crossbody bag and or as a shoulder bag. And normally I prefer top handles over crossbody and shoulder bags. But for whatever reason, I've been really into using it as a crossbody and shoulder bag. But now, baby, now, baby, I'm gonna be using this as a whole clutch. Oh my god, imagine going to a beautiful dinner. Wherever you're going, if we're going to McDonald's, we're going to a hole in the wall, we're going to a Mexican restaurant, uh, we're going to a five star restaurant, wherever we're going, um, Amigas, Deep Ellum, whatever the vibe hits, wherever we're going, um, this is gonna hit wherever I go. And like, look at that, look at that mug, like, look at that. Imagine waiting for ballet or walking to the restaurant, you're just walking or going to the restroom and then you see the little tag move around. Like I'm always about vibes and I'm always about like how things move, how things look like and for me, like I just love the movement of the bag or you carry it like a little as a little baguette, you walk around, you have the little dog tagging around, especially since it is the enlarged version. Like I wouldn't wear it with this outfit, I probably would wear it with the with the t-shirt bodysuit and the jeans, I'd probably wear a different jacket with it. But like walking around, like you cannot tell me this is not a whole vibe. Like this hits the vibe check and always with with all, all the straps. So not only will I be using it as a clutch, which I didn't really even expect to use it as a clutch when I first got it, but I think the chain really makes it more as a clutch. Uh, I love that I can just kind of have it and I can carry it like this, or I can actually use it kind of as a baguette style, and I'm just here for it. Like, I, I'm living for this look. I love, I just love the vibe. Like, I've always been about energy. I've always been about vibes recently, and I've been listening to them very in tune with all my vibes. And girl, this hits it. Like, mentally and physically, how I feel about this bag, Girl, the chain does it for me. I mean, it's so cute without the chain. Do not get me wrong. It's so cute, but the chain 
makes it, throws it right out of the ballpark. Um, like I said, I've been using it more as a crossbody and shoulder bag than even a top handle. I mean, even the top handle with the chain. Ooh, girl, let's get into this. Let's let's put the little let's put the little uh, top handle. So excited to go to dinners and start using this as a little clutch. Like, I mean, it's cute, like that the chain hangs out, but no, the chain by itself as a clutch absolutely fire uh, i like the variation of this but i also like to carry it as a crossbody and i like how the chain's kind of like poking out and it's kicking it with the girls but imagine this chain on the mini pillow bag guys i wish coach would sell individual chains because girl i would be buying them all of them and all the hardwares all the variations i know they have very long chains but they have chains like this Girl, they, they would take all of Sergio Secret's money. Um, one thing I will do about the Coach Cassie 19, I'm going to be putting it on the pillow bag just so you guys know how it looks like. So if you do have the Coach Cassie 19, want to get that look, I'm going to show you what that looks like. That's what it looks like. I mean, I still like it with the Coach Cassie chain, but I definitely won't wear it. I definitely will use the beat bag chain on it a lot more. I think it's so cute. It still looks pretty great. I'll show you guys just so if you do have it, um, this is what it looks like if you are considering the pillow bag. Um, I like it. it. I feel like it's a little bit on the longer side. So if you um, like to wear more third pieces, I find that it's going to be a lot more comfortable. Definitely for the summertime, I definitely like how this one's maybe a little bit more on the shorter side, but um, it definitely hits a little bit longer. And I'm looking at a mirror right there and it, and it hits the, with the lights and stuff. It, I mean, it hits the vibe pretty well. I mean, I like either or chain. And if I didn't have the beat bag, I was going to use this Cassie one. But now that I have the beat bag, I'm definitely going to be using the beat bag a lot more with the chain. And I'm going to also show you on my classic tabby. Sorry, guys. I'm just like so coach obsessed. Like, ugh. Like, look at that. Like, this makes me want to use the bag a little bit more. Like, I like it with the chain. See, I'm all chained out. If, if it's with the classic tabby or if it's with the pillow tabby, regardless, I'm living the fantasy. I am living my truth. But this is what it looks like. Or even you can use it as a clutch if you were to take the strap out. And I feel like that would also be like a cute clutch. What do we think? I love the coach beat bag chain with the pillow tabby definitely does it for me. You kind of a wear and tear update now that I have it with all the lightings and stuff. As far as the back, I don't see any indentations. I really don't see any wear on it. Like if I'm really looking with all the lights, the corners, and I'm, I have been using it quite a bit. And I've been wearing different colored outfits. Obviously, I've been a little bit more careful with like darker jeans and stuff. But um, I mean, it looks great. Like I, there's no wear on it at all. Like the C looks good, the hardware looks good, when I open it up it looks good. I will say my Byredo hand cream since it is that metal, it did kind of like uh, scratch it right here just like a little bit, but you guys can't even see that. But other than that, I mean she, this little thick bag has been holding up pretty well and I've been really happy with it. I also have the little gay blue sticker on there, you know she's still crispy and new. Um, but the dog tag and everything, I mean, for it to be a cream bag and the amount of time that I've already started to use it, I mean, it's been holding up pretty well. Like I said, I'm looking at the mirror right here. It's been, I mean, it looks phenomenally well. And so, I still recommend the pillow bag. I cannot wait to get the mini one. And I'm very, very curious to see which one I'm going to use more or which one I'm going to gravitate towards more. Because when I got my Cassie's, I was definitely using this one a lot more. And then for whatever reason, I just started using my Cassie, my regular one, a lot more than white one. And so I think maybe that's what will happen. Well, I will probably end up using, I think I may use the mini one a little bit more since it is newer and I'm going to have more of a, another honeymoon phase with it. I think I'm going to use that one and I feel I'm fine in the winter when I wear more like longer coats, longer jackets. I'm going to be wearing it. Do not get me wrong. I will still wear this right now in the spring and the summer. But it's going to be kind of like a Cassie's where I did really enjoy this one, you know, this time last year and all the way through kind of like September, October and kind of November through like now I've been using the regular cast a little bit more. I like I said, every day I change my mind. I change outfits all the time. I kick you with the girls. Uh, you know, I may wake up and grab a coffee and wear a cute outfit. I may go into the office, wear another outfit. Uh, when I film videos, I change through outfits. So um, I may go to dinner, lunch, whatever I have to get done, uh, an appointment, uh, dentist appointment, doctor's appointment. So I always be changing my outfits. So, um, you know, all these variations and I always be changing my outfits all the time. Um, the Coach Pillow Tabby, still going strong, still love it, still serving the mug, even after a few weeks of me having it but the beat bag baby baby this beat bag is my coach cassie 2.0 point blank period 
point blank period. I love a lot of the handbags that I have in my collection. I feel like I'm starting to love my style. I'm starting to embrace my clean cut classiness. I feel like something's a little bit too boring, which it can be, but I'm also incorporating those kind of fun and wild pieces that make me happy when I see it. So I'm really starting to love my curated handbag collection. I'm really starting to love a lot of the items. And this one also kind of gives me Troy Burch Eleanor vibe, the gold hardware with the leather. It gives me very Eleanor vibes as well. She's right there. She's still doing well. And yeah, guys, couple handbags that I want to add into my collection. I always get asked Sergio, then what's next that you want? Definitely the middle mini pillow bag. I have a Troy Burch Kira on the way. I definitely want like a Michael Kors Bradshaw bag. Um, I definitely want to add that. A Brandon Blackwood bag, another Soho bag. There's a few more handbags on my wish list, but it's just kind of whatever comes my opportunity, whatever floats my boat. Like I wasn't expecting to buy this, but when I saw it, I knew that I had to buy it. Or I may go into the coach store and see the mini pillow bag. I may not even like it and I could buy a field tote. So I really go with the vibe. I go with my energy. Um, I do kind of plan things, micro calculations in my head about like what I'm going to buy. But at the end of the day, it's whatever I feel like it, what the energy is. There'll be like five days where I don't spend a single penny. And then there'll be like one day where I just, you know, I'm like today, I just feel like buying a couple things. Boom, boom, boom. King Cut Classic delivered, go shopping and keep it moving. That's how I am. And so, yeah, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on the Coach Mini Pillow Bag. Like I said, it should come out pretty soon, but I just don't know the time frame. It definitely within the next 14 days for sure. And it is a real thing because I still keep getting asked if it's legit. It is legit. What do you think about Miss Beat Bag? Do we love her? Do we hate her? Do you think she's a step up from the Cassie? Which one do you like? Team Beat, Team Cassie? Would love to know down below. And also, ooh, this chain though. Ooh, I love this chain so freaking much and I cannot wait to use it on all my coach handbags, especially with the little pillow as a little gay clutch moment. A little gay clutch moment. I'm here for it, honey. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I love each and every single one of you. I'll leave the links for everything down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you, thank you so much. And let's hope the coach pillow bag comes pretty, pretty soon. Watching, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and take care.